so hello everyone welcome to my channel once again and today in this video i will show you how you can deploy and host my bot miku nakano or miku md in your android device without using tarmax so right now we all know that heroku is stopping free services from 28 november and also we developers are still trying and finding new new uh, alternatives of heroku so that you can host your bot in any devices like pc or android and right today in this video i'll show you about android deployment and tarmax is also having some issues from some days so uh, i am not using tarmax in this video so without wasting any time let's get started to the video so what you have to do is at first go to google play store and install an app named userland okay you have to install this application named userland it is new released application and only 500k downloads okay just install it i have already pre-installed it but i have cleared this data so that i can show you from the beginning now just open this is the app userland and just open it now you can see that there are many distributions and many other things available in this app i will recommend you to install debian okay don't install ubuntu ubuntu has some own issues also install debian click on debian just click on ok now allow storage permission now there are two options terminal and graphical i'll recommend you to install terminal okay just selected terminals is already selected now click continue and it will start downloading the files for debian now in the notification bar you can see that it is downloading its files so i have to wait until then and also i recommend you to use wi-fi connections because it will cost to around 2 gb of data okay so it is now installing after downloading okay so the installation is completed and we came to the debian interface so now what we have to do is uh, use one by one command i will provide it i will be providing all the commands in a text file so that you can just copy and paste one by one so let me go to the comments okay okay just copy okay it is asking for yes or no just enter y and enter again y enter now i'm just copying the next command okay one command is done next second one okay again y enter okay so let's copy third one okay so i will use next one next now i am installing git so that i can copy any github repository next one here i am installing node.js in next command ok next node.js let me copy the next one ffmpeg ok so paste ok bash is already installed so just ignore bash and now we will install wget ok wget is installing now we have installed node.js already but we have not installed npm ok let's check ok npm not found so we have to install npm by this following command while npm gets installed let us copy next one so we will be installing image magic list next one image magic why now this is the final part git clone so before git clone let me show you something ok so this is my github repo ok you will find this link in, in the description the bot link 
what you have to do is at first go to three dots of your browser and click on the desktop side or desktop mode or anything like that okay next what you have to do is click on this fork button okay if you click on this fork button it will go, it will make a copy and go into your account so after clicking as a owner i cannot fork it so you can fork it okay after forking it what you have to do is go into your profile and click on your repositories okay now now this is my these are my repositories i am going into micomd that i just that you will just forking it okay so now in the readme.md i have described that how you can change owner number or bot prefix owner name etc so let me show you one second you have to go to config.js after reaching config.js just click on this pencil button okay now you can modify so here in the global.owner you can see there is my number okay here the 91 is my country code and this part is my number okay don't put any plus or any space in number you have to put your number three times in these three spaces this one is bot name you can change is anything you want this is his owner name you can change it with your name okay next don't change global dot session name don't change it okay now next support group link i'll recommend you not to change it because everyone if anyone get any error they can contact me directly through support group link okay don't change it next a global dot prefer here you can set pre any prefix that you want you can put dot you can put slash or hash or anything you want what will respond to that respectively you don't have to modify anything now just after modifying click on the commit changes button after clicking commit changes the features will be saved and next what you have to do is go into home page click on micomd okay this is the home page and now copy this link okay copy this link come into termux and enter the command that i am entering uh, git git space clone c l o n e now paste your github link okay now press enter now it is just going into my github repository and copying and downloading everything that it has okay you can see the process it will totally depend upon my internet connection and my phone processing speed so let's wait for it okay so cloning process is completed now now let me check okay so let me check first we are putting ls command so that it will list out all the local repositories you can see micomd is here just to go into this folder i will type cd m i k u the spelling will be correct and you have to check the capital and small letters also okay just click enter and you can see i have came into the micomd folder press again ls so that i can check that everything is here okay everything is here now uh, i will try installing it by using command npm i okay enter and i know that it will give an error i am doing this because i want to show you that how to fix that error okay so i know that i will get an error which will be sharp error so let's confirm it okay so you can see that there are sharp error okay you can see here in this line we are getting sharp error so how to fix this sharp error we are in currently in miku md folder so we have to go backward okay so to do this i will enter the cd enter now you can see i have came outside of the miku md folder now to fix this error we will be installing at first yarn okay just copy next don't skip this video okay so now i am installing yarn so yarn is installed successfully next next why what i will i do is yarn add sharp okay i'll just try to install sharp using yarn let's check it and we might get an error okay let's okay so we have got an error there it is saying that 
आवर नोटजेस वर्सन इज वेरी लो ओके आवर नोटजेस वर्सन इज वेरी लो सो टू अपडेट आवर नोटजेस वर्सन एट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इंस्टॉल कार्ड नेक्स्ट टेस्ट ओके सो वी इंस्टॉलिंग कार्ड एंटर वाई ओके कार्ड इज इंस्टॉल सक्सेसफुली नेक्स्ट यूज दिस कमेंट अप टू लाइन next this command will download and install node.js latest version from the debian cloud okay actually this is an alternate method of installing latest version now you copy the next command after this process completed we will be using next command okay it's done now we will testing new next command and now node.js is installing so you can see the node.js will be installed is 18 version which is latest just wait for it okay the process is done next we will be using sharp using yarn okay so now there will be no error okay now yarn is installing sharp without giving us error okay yeah sharp is installed successfully through yarn now what we will do we will again go into miku folder okay for do that we will enter cd capital m i k u minus capital m capital d okay now npm npm space i to install it now you will see there will be zero error and everything will be green green so you can see that there are zero error and now how we are going to start my bot okay now we are going to start my bot by using npm space start okay now press enter and see magic okay now you can see bot is giving qr code now what you have to do is just take a picture of this qr code using another phone go to your whatsapp from where you want to connect your bot click on the three dots click on link device now click on link a device okay now scan that qr okay it's logging in okay it has successfully logged me in now let's check the terminal okay you can see that restart bot is restarting and let's wait for some time okay now you can see the logs are totally coming and let's check whether our bot is working or not okay guys so for that i am going to use main okay so let's check that bot is working or not minus is my predefined prefix that i always prefer in my bots okay so you can see my bot is totally working let's check as is working through tarmac so there will be some delay okay you can see bot is totally working fine and let's check some other commerce that whether they are working or not okay i am downloading audio because is running through terminal so there will be a little bit delay than heroku okay you can see all commands are working and also this is the terminal so after this uh, you can see bot is totally working fine and now we, some of you will ask that how can we stop the bot how to stop this bot okay for stopping the bot or if you need to restart the bot in some point what you have to do is just click on this control and press c now you can see bot is stop working okay and let me clear the session okay session is clear so we are in the home screen we are now how you can start this bot again we have to go to userland now we have to go to sessions 
and we have to go to debian apps now we have to use command cd miku md okay now click on npm sorry not click just type npm start okay and you will see that bot is start key bot is starting to work again let's wait and see what happens okay so bot is totally working fine once again mm, let me check it okay it is working again once again totally fine everything will work fine so i am not testing it anymore so that's all about today's video guys and thanks for watching till the end and i will just only ask you to subscribe my channel because i really worked very hard on this project and i also worked very hard to find alternative of tarmax it was very time consuming process so if you are watching this thank you for your support and love